Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another what I eat in a day video. So normally, the, as you guys know, for if you who've watched me for a while, you know I try to do at least two or three days in these videos and then put them up at the end of the week. Um, this week was a little unusual. I thought it would be great. I have this whole week off of work and I will have plenty of time to film. Well, if you guys remember, last week I was pretty sick and started feeling like I was on the mend um, by like Friday, Saturday. Um, then Saturday night, I had to continue taking cough medicine again. And I already had a pre-scheduled appointment for Monday morning. And so I just figured, okay, there's no point in going into urgent care or anything. I mean, this cough would not go away. It just felt terrible. So I went ahead and just waited till Monday, went to my doctor's appointment. Well, then Monday I started feeling pretty good. I mean, I told him everything that was happening. Um, he said my lungs didn't sound like super clear. He thought he could hear something. So he didn't want me to go in for a chest x-ray. Couldn't get in anywhere on Monday. So I went on Tuesday, but by this time I'm feeling pretty good. I was feeling pretty good Monday. Um, it was just really busy. So I did not, I did just did a, um, chatty vlog instead of a what I eat in a day. So I did that. Then Tuesday, I filmed my entire day, which is what you're gonna see here in a minute. And then Tuesday night, then I went in and I got my chest x-ray done on Tuesday. Then Tuesday night, again, I just, like I ate dinner pretty early because my husband got off work early um, or on time, I should say. And so we had dinner like at five o'clock, which is pretty early for us. And, um, but then by like 5.30, my coughs are coming back. I was starting to feel pretty bad. And um, my doctor's office had called me and told me that the chest x-ray showed that I did have a um, case of bronchitis. So that would be why all the back and forth. And he said the best thing you can do is just rest, lots of fluids, tea and honey, um, you know, just lots of sleeping, lots of fluids, and just kind of listen to your body as far as food and that kind of thing. Um, he said to let him know if I, you know, had a fever or anything, which I never had a fever the entire time I was sick. Now my husband, he had kind of the same thing I did, but he had a super high fever the entire time he was sick. I never once got a fever. So, um, to, so then Tuesday night, the whole night I was up coughing all night. Nothing stopped it. I was feeling just so terrible. Wednesday, again, during the morning, I was feeling okay. When I got up in the morning, I was feeling okay. Um, was able to do my bike ride, started my morning off. I even started recording. And then by mid afternoon, my body just was like, okay, you're tired. So I would just have to rest again. So I had some projects planned for the entire week of spring break. I got a few of them done. Um, I did not get everything done I wanted, but what I did do, I did record for you guys. You can see that next week. Um, so I was just doing things as I could, but honestly, like by like 12 or one o'clock, I just felt terrible and I just had to rest and relax and lay down and just read, binge watch TV shows. That's really pretty much all I did. Um, and then um, Wednesday night, I just, I was not feeling good. It's Thursday right now when I'm filming this little intro. Um, again, I'm feeling pretty good right now. So um, we'll see how the day goes, but I don't plan on recording my food today only because I wanna be able to edit this video. That's usually I spend Thursdays editing the video, but I just wanted to do an intro to tell you guys why it's just one day. So it's a full day of eating on Tuesday. Um, you're going to see actually my Tuesday night dinner was leftovers from Monday which I did record that, how I made that on Monday. So you're gonna see that as well. Um, but just fingers crossed that, you know, I get through this. I mean, I, I'm not feeling terrible. It's just, you know, I just start to feel kind of tired and low energy and my cough starts coming back. But fingers crossed, I have not really coughed much today. So I am thinking that we're on the upward cycle. <laughs> So um, if you guys are new here, welcome. Like I said, normally I do kind of try to do a full, almost a full week of these videos um, each week, but this week was just one day, but I'll show you a full day of eating. I do track on my WW app. I also track my calories and protein on the Lose It app. So I do share both of those in these videos. If you are new, I hope you will stick around and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified. Also, I am over on Instagram. Hopefully I can get back to posting over there again. Just these last couple of weeks that I've been sick, I just have not been able to do much posting or filming or anything. Okay, let's go ahead and go into this full day of eating. 
I am starting, as always, my morning off with a protein coffee. I drink these while I am getting ready for work or for my errands or whatever I have to do for the day. I always add in a little bit of the Jordan Skinny Syrup. This is a salted caramel, zero calories, zero points. And then I use some sort of Stoke Cold Brew. The Extra Bold and the Espresso Blend are my two favorites. Right now I have the Extra Bold. And then I almost always use some sort of Quest Protein Shake. They are my favorite. The Salted Caramel is my very favorite. I really like the vanilla as well. I'm so glad some of you guys told me to try the vanilla. Um, it's really good. And then I'm trying this International Delight Cold Foam Sweet and Creamy Flavor one. Now, I really like the salted, I don't know, what is it, the caramel macchiato and the French vanilla. But, you guys, this sweet and creamy, I have to say, it's probably my favorite now. Good morning. I am going to make myself um, a couple scrambled eggs and also going to add in some of these sausage crumbles. So a serving of this is a half a cup. I'm gonna do a quarter cup because for two eggs, a quarter cup is just fine. Also gonna do a quarter cup of cottage cheese. And then I am gonna pull out some avocado and do um, a little bit of avocado on top. So what I do is I start scrambling these, then when they're almost done, I'll add in the cottage cheese. Oh, and I add this in at the same time because these are frozen. So I'll add these in with the eggs, add this in right before they're done and scramble that in. Now, if you don't like the texture of cottage cheese, but you still want to get the protein and you don't mind the flavor, one thing you can do is you can take your two eggs and your however amount of cottage cheese you want to do and blend them up in a blender first and then scramble them. That way you don't get the kind of clumps. It doesn't bother me, but I know some people don't like that. Um, that's just a good way to get in. Or if you don't want cottage cheese at all, you could use plain non-fat Greek yogurt as well. And you could do the same thing, just blend it all together, then throw it in the pan. But I don't take that extra step. I actually don't even take the time to scramble the eggs ahead of time. I just I just don't take the time for that because I don't think I need to. Um, so one thing that I do is I add in some salt, pepper, garlic from Kinder's. This is my favorite. So once I get the eggs cracked and start scrambling them, I will add in the quarter cup of sausage. This is not my favorite sausage. I don't know if there's any other turkey sausage. I um, want to use it up because it's not terrible, but it's just not my favorite. I probably will not repurchase this. It just has a really strong seasoning. And as you guys know, I'm very sensitive to some herbs like salt and pepper, garlic, onion powder, you know, things like that are not crazy, but any kind of herbs like rosemary, thyme. Now the traditional like basil, oregano, things like that don't bug me. So I don't know what's in this, but whatever herbs are being used in this is just a little bit too strong for me and it doesn't specifically say it just says spices but I'm just super sensitive especially to rosemary and thyme like they are not my favorite I do use them occasionally in some recipes but they're not my favorite so um anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and get these scrambled up I am hungry this morning which is the first time in a while um so I'm gonna have this and then I have to go run some errands so I'll probably make a smoothie um, to take with me to run errands. That way I don't get, cause I have to go to the grocery store. So that way I don't get super hungry or anything. So now that these are mostly scrambled, I'm gonna add in the cottage cheese. And again, remember if you don't like the texture, just blend it up. But for me, I'm just really kind of warming up the cottage cheese is what I'm doing here. Um, but if you if you do it too early, in my opinion, if you don't if you're not blending it up, if you're just adding the cottage cheese later and you do it too early, then you don't know if your egg whites and egg yolks are cooked. And for me, like uncooked egg whites really makes me like nauseous. Like I just the thought of eating eggs that aren't completely cooked through, just I don't like that at all. And so I like to make sure my eggs are mostly cooked. So that way I'm just kind of like I said, just kind of warming up the cheese at this point. Topping it with some everything but the bagel seasoning. I have 50 grams of avocado there. So let me show you the finished product. I will have um, points, calories, and protein here on the screen.
make myself a little smoothie i have to go run some errands this morning so this green fruit and veggie one from walmart is one of my favorites here's everything that's in it these are only like two dollars and 16 cents and to me way worth it because whenever i buy frozen fruit for for smoothies you buy a big bag and then you get kind of tired of it that's how i do but i've been loving smoothies and frozen fruit is not cheap so if you buy a bunch of different ones and then they go bad. So for me, finding these little smoothie packs was such a great find. For lunch today, I'm gonna throw together a little stir fry. So I'm gonna use about a cup of these or so. I'm probably about a serving of these. I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer, some cooking spray, because I like the taste of green beans in the, in the air fryer. And then in a skillet, I'm gonna cook up just about a serving of these. Um, this is lunchtime, so I'm not gonna make it too big um, because I do have a bigger dinner planned tonight. Um, so I'm gonna do a cup of this, which is a serving. And then it does have a teriyaki sauce in it. Now the other one I tried, that was the marinara, it had enough sauce on it to coat everything. But because I'm not using this entire bag, I'm thinking I'm gonna need to add some stir fry sauce, which I'm just gonna use the G Hughes stir fry, which I do have a opened up thing I need to use anyway. And then I'm gonna do a serving of the lightly breaded chicken nuggets. And I'll put these in the air fryer too. Then I'll bring all this together in a skillet and you'll see it all when it's done. And here is my lunch, which looks absolutely amazing. I did taste that teriyaki sauce before I added the stir fry and it's really good. And actually it probably was enough. They're like in little frozen blocks, the sauce is. So I just made sure I put a couple of the blocks in there when I was um, stir frying it all together. But this looks amazing. Such an easy, quick meal. Don't discount frozen veggies and the shortcuts like this because it just makes a nice, healthy meal. Getting ready to make dinner. I'm going to make shepherd's pie, which actually, no, I guess it's called cottage pie. I had somebody comment that it's shepherd's pie with lamb, cottage pie with ground beef. I had never knew that before. I have always, um, we've always called it shepherd's pie in my family. And actually the two recipes that popped up were both called shepherd's pie and they both used beef. So I had one recipe pop up on Pinterest when I was doing my meal plan last week and it just sounded so good. And you guys know I'm always looking for things that both me and my husband can eat. My husband's allergic to chicken. So anytime I can do a beef meal that he will eat as well, then I'm, I'm all for it. But then also on Instagram, that same Instagram um, page that I shared with you guys last week that I got the chicken Parmesan cottage cheese bowl from. She also had a shepherd's pie cottage pie recipe on there. So I thought it was kind of funny that they both popped up the same day. <laughs> so, um, but because my husband will be eating this, I'm going to use mashed potatoes. In the past when I've made this, and you guys have seen it before, um, I would use ground turkey or ground chicken and I would use cauliflower mash. But I have the points I have not really eaten today. It's been kind of a crazy day. Um, so I've only just had lunch today. Um, so anyway, you're going to see this actually, I'm going to be having this as leftovers on Tuesday, but I'm making this on Monday. I'm not filming what I eat on Monday because it has been a crazy day, but anyway, <laughs> um, I have plenty of points left. So this is like going to add five points to it. Um, but I have plenty of points left. So Anyway, this will be a little bit higher point dinner, but you can lower it very easily by using cauliflower mash, by using ground turkey or ground chicken. Um, as long as you're using 99% lean ground turkey or ground chicken, it'll be less. But if you don't, it's gonna be about the same because a serving of the extra lean ground beef is, nine, is like three points, which is the same as the 93.7 um, ground turkey and the same as like regular 96% or 93% ground um, chicken so really it's about the same and everything else is zero zero for vegetables zero for all of this stuff so literally all i need to do is throw this into a skillet cook it up i'm going to add in some worcestershire a little bit of beef broth and some tomato paste then i'm going to take some of the beef broth i'm going to mix it with some um cornstarch and that's that way we can get it thickened up and we'll cook all that together um, add in some mixed veggies. I'll also probably add in some minced garlic um, as well and some salt and pepper. Once all that part is done, we'll top it with the mashed potatoes 
and then we'll put it in the oven and I'll add just a little bit of cheese on top as well. That's what it calls for. And then we'll put it in the oven and I will show you what it looks like when it's all done, but I'll kind of bring you along for the ride as well. Alrighty, I am browning up the ground beef. I already added in some of the blend salt, pepper, garlic. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and get that browned up. Then I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of Worcestershire. I'm gonna do um, a quarter cup of beef broth on its own and a quarter cup with one tablespoon of cornstarch. And then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of tomato paste and mix all that up. All right, you can see it's already starting to thicken up from that cornstarch beef broth blend. I have trouble getting the tomato paste mixed in there, but I think I have a little bit on there, but I think I got it all in there. So now I'm gonna add in the mixed veggies. Okay, I think I'm gonna do about, oh, about three quarters of the bag, I would say. And I turned my heat down to two. Yeah, I think that's a perfect amount. So I'm gonna let that simmer a little bit while I'm heating up the mashed potatoes, just so they're a little bit softer and easier to spread. And then we will toss this in the oven. But that looks really good. So easy too, you guys. So, so easy. Um, you know, what's funny too is I was watching Catching Up on YouTube this morning and Jen Clayton over at, I think that's her channel, is Jen Clayton. Um, she made a cottage pie, I think last week or two weeks ago. So I will link her video down below too because I'm not sure how her recipe was because I, I just kind of was watching it while I was cleaning. So I don't know what the recipe is that she used, but... I will link her recipe down below as well, just in case um, that one looks good to you. So you have three different options in the description box. I added on a third cup of cheese, which is a serving of this reduced fat cheese blend. So a third cup is like three points, um, or I'm sorry, a quarter cup. I did a quarter cup. Quarter cup of cheese is, is three points, um, but that's for this entire thing, which this is going to be uh, six servings, I believe. Yes, six servings. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. My dirty oven. So this is gonna go in the oven at, um, I did 375 and I'm gonna do that probably for about 30 minutes because everything is cooked. So it's just really just getting all those flavors melted together. All right, y'all, this looks good. looks amazing so I'll show you it all dished up and here is my finished plate and I'll tell you guys since I am having this as leftovers the next day um, I will tell you that this turned out really good I highly recommend this again you can make your own mashed potatoes you could do cauliflower mash it's just as good with cauliflower mash um, you could use a packet of brown gravy mix to really make it really simple the recipes that I'll link down below I have three of them that you can kind of give you some ideas um, I'll link those down there. They all kind of make them a little bit different. So however you make it, but it is such a nice comforting meal and it makes great, great leftovers. If your person doesn't like leftovers, this is one of those meals that is much better the next day. I'm gonna give one of these a try. We'll do a little on-camera taste test. I'm hoping this is not as sweet as these ones. So I tried one other one of these ones. It was a salted caramel. It had caramel non-fat yogurt. It was so, so, so sweet. So I'm hoping this one's not quite as sweet. Um, how much sugar does it have? We have five grams of sugar. I don't know. Let me see what this one was. sugar is at oh this one has 13 okay so yeah that's probably why this one was so sweet so let's go ahead and let me open this up show you what it looks like on the inside then we'll give a little taste test so this one what was it again strawberry cheesecake so we have little pieces of chocolate and some graham crackers and what's it say caramel pearls you just flip it over like that and grab a spoon We'll give it a little stir, then we'll give it a little taste test. I'm not typically hungry after dinner, and when I am, I'll just normally have an apple or something, 
but just having these like a little bit extra protein in the evening is really good. Like when I do have a snack and it's still pretty early, it's like six o'clock right now. Um, but just after having that dinner, I just want a little snack. So let's just see what it tastes like. Definitely not as sweet as the Oikos. I guess I'm just not used to really sweet yogurt anymore. Super tasty. Um, I remember right, this is four or five points, but it would be on the screen right before this. So yeah, it's really good. Like I said, just something different. You know, once you put granola or like I put the Catalina Crunch on my, you know, thing, you're still adding extra points. So, you know, this is just a nice little treat to have. And, but it is still a little sweet. Just not as sweet as Oikos, but it is still a little sweet. But I would say I would repurchase them. The only place I can find these is at my friend Meyer, which is a Kroger store. Literally the only place I can find it. So um, if you can find it in your area, I would definitely try them. I've not tried the two good ones yet. I bought two of the Oikos. My store, I bought every flavor they had. They had two different Oikos ones, two different of these Dan and Light and Fit, and two different ones of the two good but I have not tried them all yet. I'll definitely let you know each time. This is going to end my Tuesday. I used 23 out of 23 points. So I just get yogurt on my face. <laughs> 23 out of 23 points. I had 1,459 calories, if I remember right. I'm going to, I'll pop it up here. And 149 grams of protein, I believe. So all in all, a really good day. It's nice to get kind of back on track after being sick and you know, being able to eat actual full day of eating. So thumbs up for that.